we will now talk about the process skill of visualize. Now the visualize process skill is very similar to translate with the only difference being that in this skill the output that you're looking for is more visual in nature for example a tabulated form of data or let's say a diagram okay essentially anything that helps you make more sense of the information that's given to you in the question statement so that you can get closer to the solution of the problem given to you. Now to understand this skill, I want you to first solve this 700 level problem solving question. This is from the official guide. Pause the video, solve the question and resume when you're ready. Good luck. All right, so we're going to solve this question now. Again, step-by-step -step process. Read the question statement carefully, one part at a time. A border of uniform width. Okay, uniform is an important word here. Uniform width is placed around a rectangular photograph that measures 8 inches by 10 inches. Okay, if the area of the border, border area is 144 square inches, what is the width of the border in inches? Okay, that's what we need to figure out. So in such questions, the first thing to do is just draw it out. Uh, visualization is nothing but reading the text and converting it and translating it into an image or into a visual form, as the word visual suggests, into a visual form so that you can make sense out of what's given to you. Okay, so we're going to first draw our um, photograph here. All right, so here is our rectangular photograph and we're going to write down 8 by 10 over here. Okay, now um, what's, order, what's added a border of uniform width. Now when you talk about border of uniform width, what is really, what does that really mean? It really means that this is, so this, if this is x then this is x, right? And likewise, if this is x, this is x, right? So this is a uniform width. So that's what I'm doing. I'm actually, and it may not be to scale here, which is okay. All right, so now we draw out our border, okay? That's what the border means here. And pardon my non-straight lines here, okay? All right, so this is what, this is the border here. This is, this entire thing is the border and it has uniform width, okay? Now, this is the most critical part of the question, imagining this entire um, figure here. Now, if the area of the border, now area of the border means this green shaded area is 144 inches, what is the width of the border? We, what we really need to figure out is what is this X? That is what we need to figure out. And um, the area, the shaded area has the, the green area over here is 144 square inches. Now, what is this green area? If you think about it, this entire, this, dimension here is 10 x x which is means that it's 10 plus 2 x and this overall dimension over here is 8 x x which means this is 8 plus 2 x so the overall area the the entire area over here is 8 plus 2 x into 10 plus 2 x okay and if you subtract the inside area this area over here that is 8 by 10. This is the area of the border which has been given to you as 144. Now beyond this you simply solve this uh, this equation and you get to the answer. So here's the simplification of it and you notice that 80 and 80 gets cancelled out. What you're left with over here is 4x squared plus 36x minus 144 is equal to 0. You simplify it further, what you get is x squared plus 9x minus 36 is equal to 0. Now you factorize it and what you get is x plus 12 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now x, this means that x is equal to minus 12 or x is equal to 3. This is not possible. Why? Because you're dealing with dimensions here. So this is the correct answer. And we bring in our answer choices and what we get is that the correct answer is choice A. Okay, so the key thing in this question, as I said, was visualization. That is the key part to solve this question. Okay, from concept understanding, all of you know the concepts pertaining to the area 
of a rectangle okay that's the conceptual knowledge that you needed to have nothing else beyond that okay well i would also add another concept is how to solve a quadratic in a uh, quadratic equation that's another conceptual knowledge that you needed to have but the the, the reason why this question is 700 level and not an easier question is because of the process the application of process skill of visualization that is required in this question okay and the concept knowledge standpoint is relatively straightforward okay so again for you to solve difficult questions it's very very critical that you master these process skills so i hope that you are convinced that you absolutely need to invest the time in mastering this process skill of visualization Okay, now it's obvious that this skill will come in handy in geometry questions, but we are going to talk about this skill in detail in the articles to come and you will realize the applicability of this skill in questions from number properties as well as in algebra. For now, let's move on to our next process skill, consider all cases.